Hello everyone and welcome to Train Your T64 with me Spitfire. God, that sounds like a bad one. Anyway, um, so after I spent um, the... It took me about roughly four to six hours to get to this tank in terms of grinding. Um, and to say the least, I am pleased would be a understatement. The T-64 is the undisputed meta vehicle for Tier 4 at the moment in Armored Warfare and has been so ever since its, exception, um, its inception as a Tier 4 vehicle even when it had the basic 155mm gun. Um, to show you what I mean, um, let's simply compare it to the T-62. Um, it has slightly worse penetration, however, with the top gun goes up to 310 which is an extra 50 millimeters. Um, the base off without any reload mods or anything it has an extra it has a faster reload. Better hit points, twice as much armor overall um, and also composite armor meaning that it is far better suited to bouncing missiles and heat shape rounds. Um, 5.76 traverse speed, better camouflage, Better gun depression, uh, slightly worse aim time and turret traverse than the T62. Uh, however, this will probably be ready, uh, be remedied at some point. Um, this tank combines excellent frontal hull armor with a devastating cannon, relatively decent speed, um, and a low profile. Um, your main enemies in this tank will be Object 279s and Chieftain Mark IIs. 279s have a fast reload and are relatively difficult to defeat frontally unless you aim at driver's hatches and chieftains, if played by a good player, will be using Hesh, which is ridiculously devastating, but if they use an AP, um, they will triumph over you. Your main weapon in this tank will be heat rounds, as you can see there, which does 495 to 756 damage. 100 more than 125, and on average you will always be doing more and more and more damage with this. Uh, you have a max damage bonus of 25% which will pretty much always apply. Um, for starters, if you get access to them, try crew rep insignias and, and their camouflage. Um, because for a while this tank and the tank line it is in all face a very similar playstyle to this, except for perhaps the T-80U which is 3 tiers away. In terms of modification, the first place you want to go up to will be um, to the heat rounds. This will grant you access to the gun stabilizer, which will give you an extra accuracy on the move by 20%, and then of course you will finally get heat mounts. However, as you can see here, you can go from a 700 horsepower engine to this, which basically grants you, I'm going to say a 35% increase because it's absolutely amazing. Um, the speed difference between this and that on rough, ter rough terrain roads, just about everything is absolutely immense and it feels hell of a lot better than 35%. And then after this you're going to want to get the improved auto loader which will bump your reload speed down to about uh, 9 seconds and then finally you can proceed to get the top AP which will allow you to penetrate tier 5s and some tier 6s frontally. After that you can go for the upgraded exhaust smoke generator. However, there are two types of smoke in the game. Exhaust smoke will um, be produced from the engine, while smoke grenades will instead be produced from the turret. An example will be shown shortly. For now, um, in terms of uh, ev everything you want to get, um, basic fire extinguisher, first aid kit and repair kit, you may want to trade up for maybe the spare parts when you have some more money. The fire extinguisher I would recommend getting because most of the time in PvP you will be fighting chieftains with Hesh and they do enjoy setting things on fire and of course the fuel tier maintenance kit for PvE. If you would like to retrofit your tank at the moment I'm not going to because I'm going to be purchasing the chieftain shortly. Um, I would go for a reinforced um, in terms of the PvE, I wouldn't worry about the ammo rack, instead I would worry about the improved spore liner because most shots would be going into your lower plate and some into your turret ring 
and if you encounter vehicles and say if you get the worst possible match you ma matchmaking in PvE which is to be with a tier 6 tank which will face off against tier 7s and plus um, you will be penetrated like butter to which at that point nothing will save you. However for the most part this is my recommended retrofit for overall, this includes both PvE and PvE. The improved Pioneer Toolkit which will give you a 25% buff and will help you mitigate um, perma tracking. Perhaps the improved turret drive, however the turret traverse could very much help. Perhaps an improved filter systems to help with your acceleration. And then last off but not least, um, improved spore liner which decreases damage to crew and collision which can very much help with those nasty, na nasty chieftains in PvP. For now, um, the next video, which will begin in a few seconds, will be um, my first game in the T64, so enjoy! I hope this guide has helped, um, if you like it, leave a comment below, and see you all next time everyone. I'm, I think KP will agree with me, but like the huge buff you get from the T64, like it's not even like a 25%, it's like almost a 50% better than the T62. Like, this is just really good. Oops. Ah, sorry. Like, I can one-shot weasels with, with uh, AP rounds. And then, like, I don't even need to give a damn about most of the AI I face anymore. And then, when this thing gets heat rounds, oh boy, it's just... Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. It's pretty tagged me. Well, okay, newer then. players have a longer grind now because of the redo, the redo of the grinding. Well, yeah, that's good because the grind was like too quick to begin with. People failing their way up. It was real. It was happening. This message is held for review. Golf, no, I have no idea what you mean, Punisher. Yeah, I'm using Victor, so uh, module damage and white. And I have a 10 second reload, which Wait, means... Wait, where uh, are we going? Should we go, shouldn't we be going left? No, or right? Sorry. no, no, we're going straight down. Okay. This way we don't have to go from that side of the map all the way to the escape point, because that's mm -hmm. the worst gauntlet you will ever face. That's true. Especially mm -hmm. when someone loads every AI. Mm -hmm. As I've done. <laughs> Got a good steady mobile pace. T sixty four is faster with gas turbine mm -hmm. or turbo drive weasel. Eat a dick weasel. What do you mean it's fucking shattered? They hit us hard. Promoting. Hey Leopard, how are you? He looks a little crispy. That's Just a bit. Move quickly, Black Company. The enemy is calling for reinforcements. Keep we could do like the clown did in uh, spawn and just call him crispy. Crispy. Everything is crispy these days. His last line there. Hey, <laughs> about <a> little head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going as fast as I can there. Not the Same here. The one problem with the chieftains, they are a bit crawling here. It's still like the second best eh? um, MBT after the T72 and the T64.
Their squash is just so good, though. It's yeah. so good. It's so delicious One, firing with this thing. 120 <laughs> millimeter squash. Try not to run into that. Yes. Identify. Don't, don't, don't run into lake and drown. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to run into a concrete post, you know. You know what I always, you know what I did find out? Because uh, I, I, I got drowned by a Russian on the Russian test server in, for World of Tanks. And knew that then. it was more expensive to repair a drowned tank than one that had gotten ripped to pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they penetrated me, how terrible. That. But they still need another sample. Eh. Probably why I needed a hate hey, KP, and I think we should just head to the the, the other one because it'll be done by the time we get there. Mm -hmm. one more mine to go. Hey Lens, could you get the secondary? I just did. The other one. Oh, the one that's way up over there. Actually, Mother, could you get it? You're the fastest, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's got these skippiest, zippiest little pieces. He has a on zippy the whippy. It's he, tiny. He, Doesn't have that much to, 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 he, for the horse. The hills are just. Yes. This is PVE. I have no idea what I'm doing. <sighs> See, that is one thing that happens. It's why I play all modes. This way I know what the fuck I'm doing on all modes. Well, I get killed anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I found that out. I've, slow. I've, I have seen people who are excellent PvP players get tripped up by the uh, PVE. Uh, looks like no, it's just the stupid map. Hell. Holy okay, shit, that right. law's ripping up the Merva. Alrighty, let me come by. I got armor. Back off, back off, back off. I have the armor that says fuck you to, those, to the pew pew gun. Okay, few next. Yeah, there's also a weasel up there. This is like... This is kind of like driving a, that's, I don't know, a tog. Two. Well, it really doesn't matter if you're moving or not. You're just, you're pretty much the same accuracy. And in the end, Lens will still have to get the second. But I was watching how fast that law was ripping you to yeah. pieces. It has a nice little 20 millimeter. Oh yeah. And it doesn't go bang, bang, bang. It goes pop, 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 pop. All right, you guys better get to the escape point. Yes. We'll try. Might take a while. Just same. And you're just kind of stuck back there. I'm stuck back here because of the fucking secondary, yes. <laughs> You're getting like surrounded we by should have got, We should have gotten that secondary early on, right at the beginning. You died for our sins, Lens. Don't That's worry right. about it. This is why I should have taken a repair kit, Jesus. How much time do we have left anyway? Have four minutes. Four minutes, get your asses to that escape point. Ah, plenty of time. Push. That's what you say with this guards at that escape point. And I'm a T-64. Yep. Ouch. Oh no, scorpions. Whatever shall I do? I know, back up, load it here. Here they are. Yep. Like a Just wait for the calf to come. Rescue your ass. I'm on my way. Because <laughs> that's what I've been feeling like today. I'm the cavalry. Derp, 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 derp. Sugabuyat! 
Uh oh, hang on. Oh, he's hiding back there where you can't get at him. Little cheesy bastard. Roommates have to take the kid out to the school meet and greet. Are you sure about that? Well, I guess not. I'm on my way. I play By the time you get here, we'll be done. Oh, I'm pretty sure you will. Hi, Rena. I mean, I did, I did have to kill like four of the bastards over there. You know, you're oh, good. Oh, okay. So you you were farming damage over there. Because I couldn't just run away with my yeah, ass gonna, to the wind. And you're gonna blame it on us. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Rena, Point, you know, stats Rena, pattern. Uh, Rena has come with food. Oh, you has food. You. The bubble butt has come with uh, offerings. What you got? Ramen. Ramen. As in, as in, as in made ramen. So basically, as in, like, oh, okay. noodles. In other words, broccoli, ramen the way ramen's beef. supposed to be. Not cup noodle or whatever the frick that stuff yeah. is. Salt yeah. and <laughs> and flour. Mm-hmm. Mm. So Deep, yeah. Massive upgrade. Like, look at these stats. Almost a hundred. Almost a hundred more damage. Mm. Less penetration, um, but that's with like top armor. This is with stock. Already 600 DPM. Um, even stock, still a better upgrade. More hit points, twice as much armor, just about everywhere. Composite armor, so it's resistant to missiles. Yeah. And a Gesundheit for Rena. I just heard her sneeze. Mm -hmm. 